What's up, sons? It's Blind Rod with Son of a Tech once again, and today we have yet another talking head video. First of all, thanks for all the support in the vlog. We will be doing more vlogs because of the support and because we just have a lot of vlogging opportunity with moving the mining rigs to a new location. That being said, today we are talking about a tweet I made on Twitter earlier this week where I said Ergo and Cardano will replace Ethereum for cryptocurrency miners. This is very important in the way that I constructed that tweet, and we're going to explain exactly why right after a word from our sponsor. At this point, most of you should be familiar with today's sponsor, Prime XBT. As such, they want me to take this time to provide a short update on the Prime XBT platform. If you remember, they have a fantastic copy trading module where you can follow the strategies of established traders. There has been massive volatility in the market recently, but you can find traders that make money on both sides of the market and follow their strategies. It doesn't matter if the market is going up or down, there are always opportunities. Pay attention to the descriptors. For example, if the word short is contained within the name, it's likely the trader is on the bearish side of the market, and during a falling market, it's better to follow a strategy strategy where the trader leans towards trading bear markets. Register an account with Prime XBT, take a look and do your own research. The platform contains many statistics to help determine which trader suits your style, but ultimately it's your decision on how you invest. Remember, any form of investing comes with significant risks, so do your own research. Use promo code SONOFATECH at sign up for a 50% bonus. Welcome back. I will be reading from a script here because it took me a while to write this and I think that it's formed pretty well. That means that my eyes will be moving to the script because I have not invested in a teleprompter yet, which don't worry, we are working on. Ergo and Cardano may replace Ethereum for miners due to proof of work consensus mechanism of Ergo and the integration of Ergo oracles into Cardano. Ergo will be an Oracle for Cardano once Cardano completes the rollout of their smart contract model. That's an important note. An Oracle feeds various information from an external source to a smart contract. For example, if a smart contract needs to execute based on the price of Bitcoin, it will reach out via an API and call that data from an Oracle. Ergo is special in this case as it is the first of its kind to utilize Oracle pools not to be confused with staking or mining pools. This enables new options for assurance via different layers. Here are the layers. First layer is oracles or data aggregation from different oracles. Second layer is individual oracles together into oracle pools with the possibility of collateral slashing. And the third layer is a pool of oracle pools. Pools of pools, pretty funny. Anyways, it's important to note that Cardano believes in choice, so anyone can create its own external oracle source and plug it in the system. This means Chainlink will also be available as an oracle, and that basically Ergo is not the sole end-all be-all oracle for Cardano. That's important when you're making your decisions on what to mine, etc. The advantage of Ergo, however, is that they are already on the extended UTXO model, and of course they have the Oracle pools, which we were discussing at the beginning of the video. So why does this matter for miners? The Ethereum merge is coming soon. As a result, GPU miners will lose access to a widely adopted cryptocurrency to mine. While there are options like Ravencoin, Vertcoin, Ethereum Classic, and so on, none of them are in the top 50. While Ergo itself is not in the top 50, the use case and integration means it can be paired with a top 5 cryptocurrency by proxy, increasing adoption possibilities. The claims for ADA and Ergo replacing Ethereum for miners is admittedly clickbait. I got you. That being said, it comes from not only the fact that Ethereum will no longer be mineable, but also that general sediment around Ethereum is shifting after clear issues with pool staking. Just last week, Stakehound lost investors' private keys, resulting in a loss of $72 million worth of Ethereum. This is primarily due to the way Ethereum staking currently functions, preventing investor control of private keys. Users on Twitter are quick to point out that this is not an issue with Cardano pool staking. 
So when I was working on my WTF is Ergo video and how to mine Ergo video, I did run into some people that were willing to speak with me in regard to Ergo. And they basically were like, are you aware that we have, you know, this, this Oracle integration with Cardano? And I was like, no. So I started doing research into that. And I'm bringing that research to you guys because it does look relevant. While Ergo doesn't quite have the mass and large adoption that it would need to compete with Ethereum directly, it doesn't necessarily need to because of a couple factors. One being that it is only GPU mineable right now, meaning that we won't have to necessarily worry about ASICs, at least in the short term. At least all the ASICs from Ethereum will drop off the network. And because it does have a pretty significant integration with a top five cryptocurrency being Cardano. Not only that, the public sediment does seem to be shifting from Ethereum to Cardano, primarily, like I said, because of the pool staking. And I can see it all over Twitter, which is quite interesting. As a miner, what you're looking to do is obviously generate revenue and that means that you need to pull your emotions out of it and look at it objectively. Does something like Ravencoin have significant pairings, bridges, or is an oracle for anything within the top 10? Is it within the top 50 coins? And the answer to that is really no. Does that mean that Ravencoin's a bad project? No, it doesn't. It just means we need to be practical and look at all the options and what's going on. This sort of hybrid mining system with a consensus mechanism proof of work coin that interacts with a proof of stake coin that increases adoption is quite interesting and I think is something to definitely keep an eye on. No matter what, the move within mining is going to be a bumpy ride this year and it's going to be interesting to see who is able to maintain mining, hopefully I will be able to, and who is not going to be able to. What I would recommend is just pulling your emotions out and doing all the research that you can on every single possibility. But Ergo does look promising to me because of the you know, material that I've presented to you guys today. What do you guys think about Ergo or Oracles for Cardano? Let me know in the comment section below. And we will mention at the end of the day here real quick, it won't be able to take all of the GPU miners from Ethereum onto the network because that would boost the difficulty up way too much for it to be successful. I'm really curious on how this is going to work out and I will see you next Tuesday. If you enjoyed this content, you can watch more by clicking this playlist up here or go ahead and subscribe.